Getting a 10 and 11 meter antenna working on my car. By Paul, 2 Echo Zero, Echo India Juliet, or 26 Charlie Tango 730 on 11 meters. Car I have at the time of filming is a 2013 2014 model Toyota Igo mode. A small car, and the space is obviously at a bit of a premium here. So, already having an antenna for 2 meters and 70 SEMs, I wasn't certain I'd get a 10 meter antenna up on the roof of the car as well. However, a bit of um, uh, creative thinking on my part, and I managed to um, uh, get that antenna on the roof as well, as you will soon see. Hello, it's Paul, 2 Echo Zero Echo India Juliet, or on 11 meters, 26 Charlie Tango 730. Right, now, if you've read my red radio communications blog lately, you'll know that I've recently been loaned, or an, an antenna, which I believe is a Serio High Power Series antenna, although there's no markings on it to identify what it is, but it is a lot bigger than my Tornado Stinger Orbiter type antenna that I already have for 11 meters. Now, I've been told this thing works on 10, so that's why I've um, uh, come to um, uh, one of my usual radio haunts, which is the car park of the old race course in Richmond at the Washington Road end. Unfortunately, since I last tried anything on, on 11 meters here, or anything HF really, 11 or 10, th there's been some houses built so the noise floor might have gone up a bit which is a bit concerning and it's it looks like a nice day but I'm not sure what conditions on 10 or 11 are like so soon find out. I haven't put the antenna on the roof yet that's I've only just arrived hence why I've got the seatbelt on. So I'm going to crack on with that now and well, I'll uh, show you what I plan to do. Okay. You can see the new houses that have popped up there in the background. Um, so we've got the roof of my car and the existing um, uh, colonier, I assume it's a colonier, for 2 and 70 already on the roof. Now the only thing stopping me putting anything else on the roof is the, the broadcast reception antenna which unfortunately for, for all intents and purposes to do this I'm going to have to unscrew and chuck on the back seat which means I might not be able to listen to any music on broadcast radio when I drive back down. Not a problem, because I can try and replace it with something shorter later on. Obviously I've got to make sure the SWR of the antenna is not going to be all over the place, and I've also got to make sure it doesn't interfere with the car system, so I may turn the car on during the tests. However, the radios, I've got two radios with me, will be run off the battery. So, let's see what happens. I'll get the antenna on the roof, and we'll start from there. Right, spot the difference? That's the broadcast antenna gone, took about a few seconds to unscrew. Um, the base of it's still in the car, so I'm not sure if any RF will get in there. I'm not sure if the spacing's any good or not, but we'll soon find out. And uh, we've got, and they're both on the same sort of mag mount as well. That's the uh, 10 and 11 meter antenna there. Um, so they're both on zero, zero mag mounts. So, that antenna is actually a lot bigger than my um, uh, or Orbiter Tornado Stinger 1 that I suggested before, so next thing to do is connect a radio up to the other end, which means I've got to get back in the car, where it's nice and warm, because the heater has been on. Right, I've had a look at the S SWR best I can, considering I don't actually have a proper antenna analyzer, and it's coming up to, uh, well, at most 2.7 at the very t very top end of 10 metres. And we're at round about the calling channel and uh, such like for FM Simplex. So it's quite close to, to 3. Um, but it's not really acceptable for... For any kind of use, so I'd have to shorten or lengthen the lengthen the whip as necessary. Unfortunately, I can't do that today because I don't actually have a have an Allen key on board. This was mainly to see what it was like. And so far, 10 meters. I suspect the bottom end, close close to the top of 11 meters, is fine. But that's mostly CW down there. And as far as I'm aware, and well, I think it is, I'd have to refer to the band plan again. And uh, I can't really transmit voice in there. I think that's mostly narrowband, so 
so so I don't really want to be transmitting them uh, FM or AM down there in particular um, so I think uh, I'll have to I'll have to plug an 11 meter rig in and see what see what that does that shouldn't take me too long to swap over so I do actually have an 11 meter rig with me it's the President Grant 2 and this time I'm not going to re reverse wire it <laughs> I got lucky that time and probably won't be, be as lucky this time i have a quick flick through 10 meters, see what I can find, and if I can't find anything, then I'll probably switch to the to, to the Grant 2. Right, what I've done is I've swapped the radio over to the Grant 2, which is obviously legal for 11 meters. I don't really want to be using an SS9900 on 11 meters. I'd rather not so much risk of uh, having my amateur radio license revoked. So, so it, the... Uh, well, what I can tell, the match on 11 meters is much better than it is on 10, so that definitely means the antenna would probably be too long, which means I'm going to have to shorten it. But what I want to do is shorten it so it's a compromise between both 11 and 10. I'd rather not have it so short that that um, uh, I can only use it on 10 or, or too long that I can only use it on 11. The next job I'm going to do is I'm going to now test it on the road. Um, and in order to do that, obviously I'd have to get the car moving. So, unfortunately, it doesn't also mean leaving a, a loose CB radio on the passenger seat, which I really didn't have in mind. But I'll just um, uh, check to make sure none of the connections aren't where they shouldn't be. Um... What I'm going to also do before I set off is check the SWR on the um, uh, FTM 400 to make sure that it's all tickety boo. If you, if you know what I mean. Because so obviously I've put that antenna on the roof, that's changed a few things, and obviously the other antenna might not like that very much. So let's see. So I'll cut, report back once I've done that. Right. So I'm still obviously recording on my phone, as you can tell. So. I've done an SWR check of the 2 and 70 antenna. It remains more or less unchanged. Uh, 77 simplex is still a bit hit and miss. It's, but nothing seems to have changed value there. So the next thing I can do now, so I've got the car running, is drive back down to Catrick. What I'm going to do is leave the Grant 2 powered up. But I've also got my... Um, uh, the uh, Yesu FTM 400 powered up as well. It's currently on MB6RY, which is connected to the hub net. So, I but obviously by the time you you get this, I'll be long home and uh, obviously elsewhere. But in the meantime, it's time for me to get on the road. Now I've noticed a bit of QRM on it on on the on the 11 meter band with the car running, but. But I'm not too bothered by that because it's barely noticeable. Oh, just put my hand in front of the camera, it's a bit daft. Right, um, let's go f um, yeah, the auto squelch has kicked in on that. There we go. Yeah, you can just about hear that. That's with the car running. I've turned the car off and I know it's the car. Not discernible on there. But it doesn't make much noise on upper sideband or lower sideband. A little bit of noise on on there, but that's just the usual Channel 19 UK rubbish, because that's just gone on to UK Channel 19, the Muppet Band. We all know what they're like on there. They swear like troopers and they just don't clear the bloody channel, despite the fact it's a calling channel. But you know, you can't win with the CBs. Oh, the starting to come through now, so I'm going to turn that down just in case it's that effing and blinding. I'm not having that on my videos. So, right, I'm gonna I'm gonna head down to Catrick. Um, my next stop's going to be Tesco, so I have some shopping to do, um, and I'm gonna see how the antenna fares whilst I'm moving. Right, I'll catch you when I get down there. Right, you need. I've got two radios on in the background still. Uh, the FTM 400, which I'll just turn down, and uh, the President Grant 2, which has stayed switched on some through some miracle with a jump starter in the in the foot well. Right. Now, the one thing I noticed, which was half to be expected anyway, is that 
When you're driving through a town, the entire 11 meter band, and no doubt the 10 meter band as well, is pretty much swamped with noise. In some cases, it's nearly um, uh, nine. It's nearly nine over, so it makes it a little bit unusable. But there's not a lot you can do. Let's turn turn the engine off now. It's getting a bit warm in the car, and I've got to go and do some shopping, which, which uh, needs to be done. It's like new work. I need to get myself some new work trousers and new shoes for work. That's obviously what I've got is already wearing out, it's where it wears out quite quickly considering that I'm on the move a lot. So, I will um, uh, report on the antenna when I actually um, uh, come back from the, the shop just to see what, where it is, what it's doing. Right, probably notice a bit of a continuity break going on there. Um, uh, I did check on the antenna when I got to Tesco, when I did the rest of the recording the other day. Um, where I parked the car was right under a tree and the antenna was pretty close to it. So, what I had to, so what I've had to do is keep an eye on things. I, after that, went for fuel uh, and noticed that the antenna was quite close to the ceiling of the petrol station canopy. May have mentioned that in the in the in the blog. A bit of a spoiler going on there, um, and that, and uh, just noticed it does catch on low tree branches when I'm driving around now and again. It does clunk a little bit, but it otherwise seems to be fine. It seems to be holding on to the car no problem. Um, the other thing I've been a bit wary of, obviously, is power lines, but it doesn't seem to get anywhere near them, so it's not a problem. If it did, then the radio on the other end of of it would, would go boom. Uh, the current radio I've got plugged into it right now is the President Grant 2. That's mainly just to see what the noise is like, which it doesn't really have an accurate meter on it anyway, I don't think. And um, just for a bit of entertainment, just to see if Channel 19 on the UK, UK um, uh, block of channels for the CB is exactly as it usually is full of idiots that just like to sit on the channel, not clear it despite the fact it is actually a calling channel, and uh, also use vulgar language on air. Because unfortunately some people buy these CB radios that are complete and utter idiots, wire it all up, they know about the SWR and everything, although they don't use correct terminology. Um, connect it all up, put it in a car, or put a big 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 antenna on a house, whatever they do. Um and uh just um swear like troopers and uh, break all the regulations for citizens band. But fortunately you get people like that, not not what you can do about it until Ofcom come knocking. So well but you know. Right, the antenna I will get it tuned for ten at some point. I mean the sunspot cycle's a bit blur at the moment, so basically it's not gonna really get me much DX so I will get it tuned for 10 um, that probably won't be till after Christmas now because obviously I've got Christmas and things on so I will be doing another video in the meantime between Christmas and New Year or if not it will be probably just before New Year going over what all the radio things I'll be doing hope or hope to be doing in 2019 oh and also, I'm not recording this on my phone, and just for the record, nor am I recording it on that, which is the camera I had been using until the audio went a bit funny on it. But, it is another JVC camcorder, and yes, it is another Averio. So, what we've got is, a, but this one's a little bit better, because... I've managed to sort out the light levels in here for it. It's actually something to do with the um, uh, the um, uh, video gain or something. I'm not 100% sure what it is. But it seemed to be... It's automatic on this one, but on the old one um, it was either on or off. And, uh, and whenever I filmed with it, it tended to be off, which was kind of annoying. I didn't actually know that. Um, this camera's also got a light in the front of it, which is probably why you can see a bit of light reflecting off my glasses there. 
it's a bit blinding as well, so I don't want to be looking at it for too long. But otherwise, the light levels are actually quite good in here. So, the battery run time on this one is 80 rather than 90 minutes. But that's okay, because it's the exact same battery as it's from the old camera, so I can swap the batteries over. Um, £55 from CEX and Catrick Garrison, and that was all me sorted now. I've got a camcorder and I don't have to use my phone again, which is helpful, although I can use the phone for other little bits and pieces, as it, as it does help sometimes. Right, so, I'm going to wrap this one up, um, and I'm going to get it edited. So this is Paul to Echo Zero, Echo India Juliet, or if you catch me on 11 metres, or CB, or if you want to, uh, is 226 Charlie Tango 730, or if I really want to go old school with a CB, you can call me the Red Squirrel. Well, I've got red hair and it's and it's long and when I do eventually tie it back I do end up having a bit of a bushy tail. <laughs> right, and I'm also going to try and lose this beard as well. I kept that just for continuity, I'm going to get rid of it. So I don't particularly like that. Um, so, back on, back on the subject, amateur radio. Okay, so, uh, I will uh, wish you seven threes and Hope to work, work you on the air very soon, and hopefully, maybe stroke M. Um, and just before I go, what I'm going to try and do is to get the radios properly mounted in my car. I've also gone out and bought a jigsaw, which means I should be able to cut a piece of board to, to the suitable shape to fit in the gap between the passenger seat and uh, the centre center console. And I can bolt both the radios, that, and when I say both, I mean... I literally mean both. The, um, uh, whatever I use in the car for 10 metres, which will probably be like the 9900, that's still down in the car. And, um, the, the AACU FTM 400. And also try and put a fan on it just to blow a bit of cool air up into the, um, uh, heat sink of the 9900, because it doesn't have a fan on it. And also try and sort out speaker arrangements as well. Right, so, I really am going this time. Uh, Paul to Echo Zero, Echo India Juliet, or 26 Charlie Tango 730 if you catch me on on um, uh, 11 metres. Uh, I wish you 73. Oh, one other party piece. This camera has a remote control. <laughs> and here it is. 73s. Don't forget, you can subscribe to this channel and ring the bell if you'd like to be notified about new videos as I upload them. 73 from Paul to Echo Zero Echo India Juliet or 26 Charlie Tango 730 if you catch me on 11 meters and PMR 446